okay guys welcome back so this is actually the second part of mechanics and the videos on mechanics so in this video I will be further discussing about the different types of forces and some special concepts of these forces special locations in which they are used and some of the special locations in which mechanics play some special roles alright so I will divide this video into two parts first part I will explain about the tension of the string and then I will explain about the tension of pulleys and in the next video I will be explaining you about different types of problems different special problems that you will face under mechanics alright so to begin with I'll explain what is meant by the tension of a string so tension is an external force that acts on objects now you may have experienced that tension now you don't have to place an object you can place some string like this on a fixed surface and you can pull it this way so what generally happens is that there is some force on this string as well as on your hand so if you remove this tension from your hand and you fix an object you know that the object has some mass so it has some weight in this direction so due to this weight uh, the tension the actually a uh, force direction uh, force directing in this way acts on the string so what generally happens is that for the string to not move in this direction a tension should occur in the opposite direction so this is actually a newton's third law pair so what generally happens for a string is that now when this object in exerts a uh, mg force on the string this uh, tension the actually the string exerts a force in this direction so this force mg or this force f is equal to mg is due to the weight of this object so due to this force what generally happens is that the force the tension exerts a force which is an external force to this object in this direction so that develops as the tension so it is actually about the internal and the external forces on an object and this mg and this t this mg and this t form a newton's third law pair being that they are equal in magnitude but e opposite in direction now explain now having explained about what is meant by tension there are various types of tension so tension tem so tensions can be seen in both accelerated environments and non-accelerated environments so we normally explain about the tension in non-accelerated I will explain about the most of these concepts in non-accelerated environments so when talking about non-accelerated environments we can divide tensions into three types one is the normal tension the second one is the tension in inclined planes and the third one is the tension in pulley systems the other type of tension is the tension in accelerated environments alright so first of all as I mentioned there are various types of tension to be discussed under non-accelerated environments tension in non-accelerated environments so I'll begin that first and then go to tension in accelerated environments so as I mentioned here tension in accelerated non-accelerated environments can be divided in three types mainly which are the normal tension the tension in inclined planes and the tension in pulley systems so first of all what is meant by the normal tension normal tension what I mean is that there's no special term for normal tension what I mean by that is a tension exerted by some surface now if you keep an object on some plane like this so this object has some mass and it exerts a um, force the weight downwards mg and when we actually exert a tension here by a rope or by a string or a, by a chain or any other source that can exert a tension and so that it doesn't break away when the tension is increased so when we apply a tension here you know that friction acts in this direction so actually friction I will discuss in another video so friction acts in this direction so if T is greater than F the object moves so because friction is not a component that I will be explaining in this video I will not uh, for the next examples I will not display explain about the friction and display the friction for these examples now this is about the simple tension that occurs in a, in an object when the object is given some tension so when this object has some tension like this the tension is in the direction of force so using that concept you can even extend this principle to two or three or even more objects so I'll discuss about the two or uh, to, uh, the tension on two objects and the tension on three objects so you can have a similar pattern and you can uh, further develop this theory in two three or more objects so when considering two objects what generally happens is that now I'll take some mass like this m1g and another mass like this m2g right this m2g so when I'll connect these two masses with a uh, string 
right uh, or a rope and I will provide some force F on this mass so what generally happens is that when I provide some force here this mass tends to move in this direction so this mass exerts a force in this direction so as to stop the object so the tension develops here similarly now this force results this object to move in this direction so a tension develops in this direction so these two tensions cancel off so the final force that is exerted or the resultant force that, uh, that is exerted on the system is F so you can write this in two ways one way is using individual equations individual F equals MA equations in these for these two masses so when considering mass 1 you have only an external force of T, t. so you can say that the force is T and the mass is m1 and if the acceleration of the system is a you can say t equals m1a in a similar way when considering mass 2 if you apply f equals m a in this direction the total net force on this object is f in this direction and t in this direction so f should be greater than t for this object to move in acceleration so f minus t is equal to m2 times a now we don't actually want the value of tension here we can eliminate that by adding 1 or 2 and getting this one Another way of finding, another way of reaching this step is applying F equals MA for the whole system. <coughs> for the whole system. So when you apply F equals MA for the whole system, the only force that is remaining or the net force on this object is F, right? Because this tension and this tension cancels off. These are perpendicular to the direction we apply F equals MA. So the only force, the only, the only resultant force that acts on this system is F and that is equal to the mass so the mass when you are putting to the when you are applying to the whole system we have to take the combined mass the sum of the two masses which are m1 and m2 so f equals m1 plus m2 times the acceleration a so there are two ways of reaching this one way is using f equals by applying f equals ma individually for the masses and the other way is that uh, we can apply f equals ma for the whole system anyway you can reach f equals m1 plus m2 times a now you know the value of f here so you can either substitute for a or for f and then find the value of t all right so that's it about for two objects similarly for three objects you can see that now what generally happens is that we connect another mass here we generally co we connect another mass here so that is shown here so a similar show a similar occasion happens here so you have a tension here t1 and t1 so these two tensions uh, generally not equal so we have to take two tensions two values for the tensions so I'll take the first tension to be T1 between the first and the second objects and the second object the tension of the rope between the second and the third objects uh, to be T2 so the tensions and the forces are arranged as follows so M3 M2 M3G M2G and M1G doesn't play a role in the case of F equals MA for the system so one of the best ways in this case to find the acceleration is by applying the equals MA for the whole system because if you have three or more objects say four objects five objects like that what generally happens is that you have to cal calculate infinitesimal equations like this one equation two equation three equation then solve those and find a general equation like this so the best way to find is if you want to find the value of f the best way to find is to b apply f equals ma to the whole system so that this t1 and this t1 cancels off this two t2 and this t2 cancels off the only remaining force is f the total mass is m1 plus m2 plus m3 and the acceleration is a so finally f equals m1 plus m2 plus m3 times a this can also be reached by the general the orthodox method by applying f equals ma for the individual masses anyhow as in the case of two objects we can find the tensions but there are two tensions so you have to calculate t1 and t2 individually so t2 can be found directly from this equation and t1 can be found either from this equation or this equation you can substitute for f or a and then find the values of t1 and t2 so that's it about the normal tension the what i mean by normal tension is the tension that doesn't occur either in the inclined planes or in pulley systems so the second type of uh, tension in the non-accelerated environments is the tension in pulley systems so pulleys are generally some we uh, actually use pulleys to do work easily so pulleys have a system called mechanical advantage and due to that mechanical advantage we can do easily now you know about pulleys I've been talking about pulleys throughout my videos on mechanics so in the case of pulleys what we generally happen is that we have some mass here we 
we have some mass here and uh, if you don't have a mass here now in the case of dragging water from a bucket what generally happens is that we apply some force here so that you can easily lift this so you don't have to actually do work much work the tension does that so the tension is created by us but tension uh, makes our work easy but and quicker so if you want to lift heavy objects it's best to use pulleys so in the case of pulleys also either you have to pr provide a force uh, by your hand or any other method or you have to hang an object because otherwise this rope will move in this direction so if you have a tension like this and if the masses are equal that uh, the acceleration will be zero because the total uh, and the tension the actually the, these two tensions are already equal but the total uh, the the moment around this pulley is zero in them so that i'll explain in another video when i'm talking about the moment of forces so for now explain now uh, assume that if these masses are not equal these objects not the pulley the rope and these objects move in the direction of the larger mass so it's similar so that's the reason as to why i uh, start talking about the normal force and then went to tension and pull systems it's easy it's it's very much similar to the concept that you just learned on normal forces so what happens in tension pull systems is that now as i mentioned at the beginning of tension you develop a tension due to this mass you develop a tension due to this mass so these two tensions are equal although the masses are different what so otherwise if these two there are two tensions on this rope so we, we don't actually finish the, this rope here and finish this rope here so the rope is from here over the pulley up to here from here over the pulley like this over the curved surface up to here so if there are two tensions in the rope there will be an acceleration within the rope not within the system but within the rope as well so the the rope tends to break at some instance so due to that reason we can say that the tension at these both these ends should be same although the masses and the weights are different although the weights are different you may assume how can the tension be same so the tension is same due to the reason as because according to f equals ma here you know that if the mass has an acceleration you know that some force some net force is built upon these objects so that net force makes this t equal right so if m1 m1 is greater than m2 m2 the the difference between m2 minus m1 times a does that work for the tension so that the tension are uh, similar so now you know what uh, you know what i meant by the normal tension when i discussed about one object two objects even three objects so similarly we can put f equals ma for these objects so by applying f equals ma for these objects you can say if uh, m1 is greater than m2 m2 and the string will move towards m1 and m1 will go down like this so m2 will go up and m1 will go down so when i apply figures ma downwards because m1 goes down and the acceleration of m1 will be downwards so i'll, ap I'll apply figures ma downwards so that uh, uh, actually when i apply downwards the acceleration is similar so uh, when i apply downwards you can say that m1 g minus t is equal to m1 times a so here is actually an error right here is actually an error it should be upwards right it should be upwards right so i apologize for that error so if i apply f equals m a upwards so you can say for this object because i apply this one upwards because the acceleration of m2 will be upwards because m1 goes down and m2 goes up so the m2's acceleration will be upwards so i apply a figures ma upwards here so i apologize for this error so this upwards in direction so when i apply if uh, equals ma upwards the tension is positive and m2g is in the other direction so we have to subtract that so the net force is t minus m2g and uh, here's another error i have to take it as m2 here so uh, it is equal to m2a so these two are errors so i apologize for those errors and uh, you can subtract uh, sorry you can add these two equations one and two such so that m1 and m2 uh, added uh, subtracted m1 minus m2 times g and when i add those m1 plus m2 times a so a is isolated so acceleration is actually equal to the gravitational acceleration times the ratio of the difference of masses divided by the summation of masses 
so you can substitute for a and then find the value of t easily from this equation or from this equation so you get t equals 2 times the product of masses times g over the sum of the masses now in this case you have some tension because this uh, pulley is connected to this ceiling as well so if it is connected to the ceiling or the roof what generally happens is that now according to this pulley the pulley doesn't feel this m1g force m1g force is f felt only by the string and similarly m2g force is also felt by the string so the pulley only feels these two tensions and this uh, total tension so the only forces that built up on the pulley are the tension two tensions so those two tensions should be equal uh, to the tension of this string which hangs the pulley to the roof or the ceiling because the pulley doesn't move there's no acceleration so t double dash is equal to 2t you can substitute for t and find the value of t double dash so that's the general concept that you will find in any pulley system so this is the, uh, this is the general concept that you will find in any pulley system you have two masses here you have the tension that is building up you have some acceleration towards the larger mass so the larger mass goes down and the, li uh, the light the light mass goes up so you put f equals ma you find the accelerations you find the tensions and that's it about the pulley systems so the third type of uh, tension that i'll be talking about is the tension in inclined planes so before explaining you about the tension in inclined planes i'll explain you what happens when an object is kept on an inclined plane all right so Assume an object of mass capital M is kept on an inclined plane of inclination theta here and the object uh, goes down this inclined plane with an acceleration of A. So when I keep this object on this inclined plane what happens is that this object's mass acts straight downwards. You know that the mass acts, uh, mass always acts towards actually the weight sorry the weight acts always acts towards the direction of gravity. So the weight is always downwards, mg, but you know, as opposed to the case of uh, keeping an object on a horizontal surface, in the case of uh, an object kept, when, the, when an object is kept on an inclined surface, the, 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 the normal force, or r, is not linear with the weight of this object. The normal force is always perpendicular to the inclined plane. So as I mentioned in the case of the normal force, what generally happens is that the normal force is per only perpendicular to the surface in which the object is kept. It is not always parallel or in uh, linear to the weight. So in this case also we can see that uh, in a very special manner. So the weight, uh, sorry, the normal force is perpendicular to this object. Furthermore, you know that if this is mg and this is 90 minus theta and this is mg and this is theta this is 90 minus theta and this angle should be theta then because you know that this one and this one is parallel so you this angle is theta you can uh, decompose mg in this direction so if this is mg and this angle is theta you know that the, uh, the decomposition factor of mg in this direction will be mg cos theta and if this is theta and this is mg the decomposition factor in the perpendicular direction is mg sin theta so the force of mg sin theta acts on the object downwards towards the bottom of the inclined plane and mg cos theta is perpendicular and linear with the uh, normal force so this object tends to move in this direction because this r is cancelled by mg cos theta which is equal and opposite but this mg sin theta is still not cancelled by any of the forces because there's no force in the other direction so when you keep an object on this inclined plane you can see such forces and an acceleration so when there's no tension or friction or any other force in the opposite direction the only force that is acting on this object in the on the inclined plane is mg sin theta downwards and that should be equal to the mass times the acceleration so if you keep an object like this on an inclined plane the acceleration of this object is the product of g and the sine value of the angle of inclination of the inclined plane furthermore if you put f equals ma in this direction you can say that r minus mg cos theta is m times zero because the acceleration is zero the object doesn't move either in this direction in this direction or in this direction so r should be equal to mg cos theta so when there is tension in this 
uh, inclined plane what generally happens is that the tension opposes motion so tension opposes motion means when there's tension in this direction tension favors motion so you have to add the tension to the mg sin theta value so i explained about addition of forces in vectors and various other concepts under mechanics and the general introduction to physics and when when the tension is in the other direction we have to subtract those so that's about the tension in inclined planes so how about the tension in accelerated environments now exp i explained about the three types of examples on the tension in non accelerated environments now what happens when there is tension in accelerated environments now assume that you uh, the there is a ball that is hanging at some angle or actually the when i assume that the, this uh, this vehicle or this trolley is initially at rest so if you hang a, a ball with a string like this you know that when you hang it what generally happens is that it places like this so the mass is acting downwards and the tension is acting upwards when this object is moving in this direction what generally happens is that this uh, rope or this string tends to move in this direction now it is initially vertical or perpendicular to the horizontal here it's perpendicular like this it's uh, hanging vertically but when this is moving in this direction the acceleration on the object is felt in this direction so the forces are assigned as follows so now the now, now you may think that the the object should uh, incline you know, or it should uh, be uh, placed in this direction but what generally happens is the opposite so i'll explain that the reason as to why that happens in the case of uh, the inertial and the non inertial frames on rotational motion so for now estimate that now you can also explain this using the decomposition of forces but the actual reason lies in different frames so for now i will explain you but this is not the best explanation but i will explain you using the decomposition of forces now when this object is placed like this now if this angle is theta when you extend this line this should be theta because they form alternate angles when you decompose t in this direction that will be t cos theta because this is the angle we are decomposing in the direction of the angle so this is t cos theta and that will balance mg since mg or the rope the mass or the rope doesn't move vertically when we actually decompose t in this direction that is perpendicular to the t cos theta we will get t sin theta and that should be equal to ma but when this object is in this direction what generally happens is that t cos theta becomes mg but t sin theta becomes ma but although the force is in this direction when you decompose t sin theta here t will be decomposed in this direction t will be decomposed in this direction so that is erroneous because the object should accelerate in the direction of the force right because the acceleration of this object is uh, acceleration of this trolley or this vehicle is in this direction the mass should also, also accelerate in this direction so if the tension is either vertical or inclined in this direction the acceleration will not be met in the same direction but this is not the best explanation as i mentioned it's using inertial and the non inertial frames so you can say that t sin theta equals ma and t cos theta equals mg so when you divide 1 over 2 sin theta over cos theta is tan theta and that is equal to a over g and you can calculate the acceleration uh, using g tan theta or the angle using the arc tan or tan inverse of a over g so you can see that here and uh, all right so when you have a pulley system like this what happens is now now in the case of a pulley like this actually in the case of a tension like this acting on uh, an object the tension when the tension is in this direction and when the weight is in this direction you know that when the acceleration is in this direction you can put f equals ma for m and you can say that the tension is equal to mass times the summation of the gravitational acceleration with the acceleration of the system another system in which the acceleration accelerated environments come into play 
is the use of pulley systems you now when there's pulley systems like this you know that uh, when these objects are kept like this 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 tension this weight creates a tension on the subject and due to that the, since this is the same rope the t uh, tension is created on this object on this side so this object tends to move in this direction but if we give a force on this trolley or the, this surface what generally happens is that uh, actually a force of M1A is building up on this direction right so you can see that practically and M2A is uh, applied on this direction so you can say if it equals MA so T equals M1A and if for M you can say T equals MG so you can find the acceleration of the system and by considering the whole system you can find the value of F so that is actually the best way of finding forces another occasion in which accelerated environments come into play are the inclined plates so I explained about the inclined planes a little while ago now when this object is in on an inclined plane you know that mg sin theta acts along the inclined plane downwards mg sin theta is perpendicular and it's linear with the the, the the normal force so if an acceleration a occurs for this object in this direction acceleration of ma because the mass is m ma of the force is force acts on this object is ma on this direction so uh, this angle is theta so you can actually decompose ma sin theta and ma sorry ma cos theta and ma sin theta in this direction so ma cos theta should be equal to mg sin theta in order for the object to not to move so if the object doesn't move you can say that a is equal to g tan theta thus a is what's important here is that the a is directly proportional to theta when you increase this angle you can say that the acceleration increases so that's it about the tension in non-accelerated and accelerated environments so hope you gathered some knowledge on this video and I invite you to watch my second video on this topic uh, on forces and that is about the some special concepts of using forces so thanks for watching this video and see you soon